Wow, the scenic beauty of this place is mesmerizing and the view of the mountains is just amazing. I always feel blessed to be a citizen of such a beautiful country which has all the different types of landforms such as mountains, plains, plateaus, coastal plains, deserts, and islands. There is a great variety in the climate, vegetation, wildlife as well as in the language and culture. In this diversity we find unity that is reflected in the traditions that bind us as one nation. Incredible India indeed! Do you want to know more about this beautiful land? Then must watch the full video. India has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers. The north-south extent from Kashmir to Kanyakumari is about 3200 kilometers and the east-west extent from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch is about 2,900 kilometers. You would be surprised to know that India has a population of more than 120 crores since the year 2011. It is the second most populous country of the world after China. Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to learn about India's location. It means where India is located on the world map. Do you have any idea? Yes, it is located somewhere here in the northern and eastern hemisphere. But where exactly in the northern and eastern hemisphere? To know the exact location, you need to find out the latitude and longitude which are touching the easternmost, westernmost, northernmost and southernmost points of our country. So let us have a look at the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of our country. The value of the latitude which is touching the southernmost point of our country is 8 degrees 4 minutes north and the northernmost latitude is 37 degrees 6 minutes north. Now come to the longitudinal extent. The longitude which is touching the westernmost point of our country is 68 degrees 7 minutes east whereas the longitude that is touching the easternmost part of our country is 97 degrees 25 minutes east. Now let us know about one more important latitude which is dividing India into two equal halves. The name of this latitude is Tropic of Cancer and its value is 23 degrees 30 minutes north. So children, let us end today's class here. We'll see you in the next video. Do subscribe to my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to deal with some facts and figures which are very important. You'd be curious to know what I'm talking about. It's about the land, the land on which we live and we call it our country, India. India has an area of 3.28 million square kilometers. India shares its border with seven countries, namely Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Bhutan, 
म्यांमार नेपाल एंड बांग्लादेश ऑल दीज कंट्रीज शेयर लैंड बाउंड्रीज विद इंडिया फ्रॉम डिफरेंट साइड्स नाउ लेट अस कलेक्ट मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट इंडियाज अदर नेबर्स नेमली श्रीलंका एंड मॉलदीव्स दे आर लोकेटेड इन द साउथ ऑफ इंडिया दे आर इंडियाज आईलैंड नेबर्स श्रीलंका इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम इंडिया बाई अ नैरो चैनल ऑफ सी फॉर्म्ड बाई द पाक स्ट्रेट एंड द गल्फ ऑफ मनार वाइल मॉलदीव्स आईलैंड इज सिचुएटेड टू द साउथ ऑफ लक्षदीप आईलैंड डू यू नो India is called a peninsular country but why because it is surrounded by water bodies from three sides can you name them yes you are right arabian sea is in the southwest the bay of bengal in the southeast and the indian ocean in the south we also have two groups of islands and the man and nicobar islands and the lakshadweep islands in the bay of bengal and the arabian sea respectively so children let us end today's class here we'll see you in the next video do subscribe to my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos thank you everyone everyone look at the beautiful mountains the great indian desert the northern plains the uneven plateau the coastal plains and the islands they are so different in their formations you would be amazed to know that all these landforms are present in india excited to know about them then must watch this video till the end The Himalayan mountains are located in the northernmost part of India. Do you know the term Himalaya means the abode of snow. As they are covered with snow throughout the year, they are called the Himalayas. The Himalayan mountains are divided into 3 parallel ranges. 1, 2 and 3. The northernmost range is known as the Great Himalaya or Himadri. The world's highest peaks are located in this range. For example, Mount Everest, Kanchenjunga, etc. Middle Himalaya or Himachal lies to the south of Himadri. Many popular hill stations are situated here. For example, Shimla kullu manali etc the third one is the shivalik range it is the southernmost range of the himalayas landslides and earthquakes are very common here because they are weak now let us have a look at the northern plains which are located south of the himalayas they are generally level and flat they have for tile soils which are very useful for cultivation have you ever thought about what made the soils so fertile let me tell you these plain lands are formed by very fine soils brought by the rivers the indus the ganga the brahmaputra and their tributaries these soils are called alluvial soils which are very good for cultivation this is the reason a large number of people live in these plains thus the area is highly populated now let us go to the northwestern part of india here you can find the great indian desert because the area receives very little rainfall it has sandy soils and the temperature is very high This dry, hot and sandy land has very little vegetation. Hope this is clear to you. In the next video I'll explain you the features of plateaus. 
So let us end today's class here. Do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone. I'm back. If you remember in my previous video you were studied about the northern plains. Now I am going to explain about the peninsular plateau. The peninsular plateau is located to the south of the northern plains. It is triangular in shape. The relief is highly uneven. It means different in height. Here you can find several hill ranges and valleys. For example, Aravli Hills one of the oldest ranges of the world border it on the northwest side other important ranges are the vindhyas and the satpuras the rivers narmada and tapi flow through these ranges these are west flowing rivers that drain into the arabian sea we also have east flowing rivers such as mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri they drain into the bay of bengal these rivers have formed fertile deltas at their mouth can you tell me the name of the largest delta formed by the ganga and the brahmaputra rivers yes you are right it is the sundarban delta Now the most important landforms which you need to locate are two ghats. This is where most of the children make mistakes. You must be wondering what are ghats? They are the edge of plateaus. The western boundaries of plateaus are known as the western ghats or sahyadris whereas the eastern boundaries are known as the eastern ghats do you know the western ghats are almost continuous whereas the eastern ghats are broken and uneven but why because many rivers pass through these ghats such as mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri they break the eastern ghats and make their ways to enter in the bay of bengal to the west of the western ghats and the east of the eastern ghats lie the coastal plains the western coastal plains are very narrow whereas the eastern coastal plains are much broader can you think of the reason it is because mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri rivers deposit sand and silt at the river's mouth which gradually increases the size of the eastern coastal plains hope this is clear to you now we will visit the islands india has two groups of islands the first one is the andaman and nicobar islands which are located in the bay of bengal and the second one is lakshadweep islands They are located in the Arabian Sea. Lakshadweep Islands are coral islands located off the coast of Kerala. Do you know corals are skeletons of tiny marine animals called polyps. When the living polyps die, their skeletons are left. Other polyps grow on top of the hard skeleton which grows higher and higher. thus forming the coral islands do you have any idea which group of islands was affected by the tsunami in 2004 if you want to know the answer then you can watch my video on tsunami the link is right there in the description box make sure to check it out so children that was all about india's physical features hope you found my video interesting Do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos. Thank you everyone.